Hey guys, welcome to your own YouTube channel where we talk all about the gate exam and the gate like exam. So this video is all about that how to prepare for the written exam of the GEST in the theoretical computer science. If at all you are new for GEST exam and thinking what GEST is actually, then here is a link for the video which talks in detail about the GEST exam, the joint entrance screening test, which is conducted jointly by many participating institutes and it is conducted for the admission for the integrated PhD and the PhD programs in theoretical physics, theoretical computer science, neuroscience and computational biology. And I have explained the introductory part of GEST exam in that video. So please go through that and try and understand what GEST is actually. So let's begin with this video where we are going to discuss in detail about the theoretical computer science. So all the engineering graduates who are coming up here, please try and understand this video in detail and trying to implement what I'm going to tell you right here this is not going to be only useful for the GEST TCS in fact it is going to be useful for clearing the IASC MTech research program interviews whether it is CSA or CDS it is useful for the MS program interviews it is also for the TIFR and its interviews it is also for the CMI and its interviews so this one video is going to discuss and going to help you in many other areas, correct? So here is the details about the various dates, exam date, uh, April 11th, 2021, which is in the next month, uh, hardly a month to go, right? Admit guards are going to be available from the March 25th and the interviews are likely to be in the month of June and most likely it's going to be virtual interviews citing the COVID situation. Now, the syllabus which is actually given on the website, I'm writing it as it is. Then I would give you the detailed syllabus which I have observed that these are the various areas from where questions are likely to be asked. So first of all, from the given website, analytical reasoning and reduction. So that means a logical aptitude along with that an analytical reasoning aptitude is very important and it actually defines the nature of each and every question which we are going to face. The next is data structures and algorithms which I am writing in bracket analysis because I am covering the DA part also. Discrete mathematics, in general they have mentioned combinatorics and graph theory but they are much more more asked from discrete mathematics. Principles of programming. So along with these subjects mentioned on their website they have also mentioned a list of 10 books, the reference books from where you can prepare the different different subject and uh, those are actually very important why because exercise question of the book are likely to be more or less like your exam paper. Also the just 2021 is going to be conducted by the TIFR, the Mumbai, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and it is usually observed that just exam sometimes get repeated question from the previous TIFR paper. So I would say if at all you are already prepared then try solving the TIFR questions it's really going to help you. Now here comes the hidden syllabus. The topic names I have taken here are the topics from where the questions have been seen directly. There might be some more but the broader criteria I have taken. So you see the theory of computation which was nowhere mentioned on the website but you would see the objective question as well as definite one or two subjective question in the subjective part from theory of computation when you might have to design a new automata. Theory of computation cannot be ignored at all. This is one of the most integral part of the syllabus. Pigeon hall principle, counting subset, yeah, they are part of the combinatrix, but I just have put them separately because usually students by saying combinatrix just means one thing that is permutations and combinations. So I have explicitly have written pigeon hall principle, the counting part is very important. The counting subsets, partitions, recurrence relations, Basic discrete probability in the objective part you will definitely find question from the probability part so you have to and I think if you remember from my previous videos I have been always putting emphasis on these subjects for a computer science graduate if at all you are looking something into the theoretical computer science you always have to be handy in coming to the mathematical aspects of the computer science which definitely comes only when you are conceptually strong and have a good grip on these subjects mentioned here. Induction part, the induction method of proving some algorithm 
induction method of proving some theorem or some statement whatever is given the calculus basics is something which you know is good linear algebra i have seen many questions from the linear algebra part see yes matrix questions are likely to be to likely to be there and most likely to be there in the part a the number theory etc so these are the detailed analysis of the subject names or the topic names which i really wanted to provide usually it is seen that in the subjective part they put questions to prove a given statement they put question to design a given algorithm for a certain task to be performed they might put question to make a change in the given algorithm to find the desired output whatever is the desired output would be mentioned they might put question to make use of induction method they might put question to make use of deduction method so i mean you need to know how to write something and it cannot be done just by reading you need to solve the question you need to solve the exercises in fact i mean it's not about reading and learning it's about practicing on writing that is very important because you will not be having a whole lot of time there is a limitation to the time and there is a limitation to the the power your brain will be working at that time so if you are comfortable in making use of notations and that will happen only when you have done enough writing practice i would suggest uh when you are studying when you see in a chapter there is a proof for some uh you know algorithm or for some theorem to get proved then write it as it is i mean practice on your pen and paper try to write the proof given in your book by yourself once by looking at it second time by understanding and thinking about it third time it will become a habit if you do this five times for like five problems you are through with the notations you are through with the approach the steps you have to follow if you somebody might say that ma'am uh, what we have to practice like by looking at the book just as it is copy karna hai exactly main keh rahi hu as it is copy karna hai because you are trying to train your brain the machine that is there in your brain this is all about machine learning see if you remember from a childhood jab alphabets when you were trying to learn alphabets to top line pe all a's like five times a likha hai niche 10 lines mein you just repeating a a a 10 cross five times correct and the next time you are through with it so you are you are practicing something this much number of time that your brain is actually learning automatically so that will prepare you for the notations for the steps for the important terminologies that you really don't have to miss and that will make an impact that yes you know something that yes you have studied something and you will realize gradually it will be set for any new question that your brain will work okay this is how actually i have to proceed now comes the most important part that the paper format how the exam is going to be like so as just like a net exam it has it is going to have two section in the paper part a and part b one is the objective the second is subjective once you clear the cut off of the part a then only your part b will be evaluated so that is very important to know part b no matter how good you are writing answers in the part b but if you have not attempted good number of questions if you have not done the correct number of questions in the part a your part b is not even seen by the examiner so this is going to have the negative marking the total paper is for 3 hours the first part is given to you only for 75 minute and there you are going to see 25 questions just it is more or less like the gate like questions going from average to the tricky part so it's not that you are going to see very easy question but yes you are going to find some average question some difficult some very difficult but with your practice and because you have practiced enough for subjective part you will be able to solve them if you have prepared really well i would say attempt more questions in the part a to get the good rank and the good score which doesn't simply mean that attempt anything randomly obviously you will attempt only the questions which you are sure about but you have to be little speedy you have to be fast in thinking and calculations because this score will decide everything that is whether your part b is going to be checked or not also the part a score gives you a rank right and the part a score is eligible to apply for iisc mtech research programs there you don't need the part b score you can apply there only with this part so 
those who don't have intention to do PhD or integrated PhD from IMSC with part B score they just have intention to clear this much part that they can do uh, they can apply through the score to the ISC for MTech research programs or IIT Madras for MS program for them it is very important and putting it again and again as an emphasis for them it is very important to score as much as possible in part A. Now, coming to the part B which is going to be a subjective paper so um, out of the 180 minutes 75 minutes are given for part A the rest of the time is for the part B you are supposed to write the answer so you are going to see uh, two types uh, two set of questions uh, some questions are of 8 marks, some are of some are of 12 marks. So 5 questions from 8 marks, this might even vary, okay? And 3 questions from 12 marks, so this might also vary. And uh, out of the 8 marks, you are supposed to attempt any 3 questions compulsory. And from the 12 marks, you are supposed to attempt any of the 2 questions compulsory. So total, you are supposed to attempt the 5 questions, okay? And you might be having a good number of 90 plus minutes, correct? So with the observation, what are the nature of question which have been asked? I'm just putting briefly here. There could be a question which might be asking for a mathematical proof to be done. It could be asking for providing a better algorithm. Maybe a problem statement is given to you and you might have to come up with an algorithm. So you should have a good practice about designing the algorithm, writing the algorithm. Uh, and of course, in, in terms of designing, it also comes to the analysis. So you might also have to check for its complexity. You just don't have to blindly give any output. It should be optimized algorithm in terms of time complexity. Uh, proving some statement or some theorem. Correctness of an algorithm. They might ask you whether this algorithm is correct or not. Prove it in terms of yes or no. In both manners, either you say yes, you have to prove. If you say no, you have to prove. Draw a DFA, make some changes in the given DFA, etc. These are the some format of the question which I have just mentioned here because these are the repetitive format of the question. You would see something like this only. The only idea is to make you familiar with what you are likely to see in a paper because I know majority of the students don't even know that this is going to be my paper format. It is something which you will cherish forever if you sit for those three hours, if you are prepared and if you know I'm going to try my best, you will enjoy, you would cherish it forever that I am happy that I wrote this exam at least once in my lifetime no matter I clear it or I don't clear it. Mark my words. That is why I'm saying that the revision and the practice for each and every subject, for each and every mode of question is very, very important. Those who are writing just, it's a humble request. Please don't go just like that. Yes, you will enjoy the questions, but you should be enjoying writing their answers. Furthermore, I can say is make a timetable for every day and sit for a good number of hours. Give a number of hours to each and every subject. Take their books make the notes write i mean without pen and paper without practice without writing without the practice of machine learning to your brain you cannot clear it the complete information given in this video is very important not only for you but for your colleagues your friends and for your batchmates so please 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 do share this video with your friends they can gain a lot of knowledge and I'm saying again and again, it is not only for the chest exam, this is also for the ISC interview preparation, this is for the IIT Bombay research program preparation, MS program preparation, for all of those who are citing such admissions, you need to follow this. Alright, as I have said enough for this video, if at all you still have doubts, you can just post them down in the comment section. I'm going to provide you the links of some books which I feel are good enough. In the description box if you ask me for further more references for some books or some material I would try to find them out from my side uh, I will see you once again very soon in the next video till then bye bye take care